Amy Oliver, who's first Olympics, and Naomi Fulcard. The Olympics just 82 days away. As we get set now for the men's compound gold medal team match. The USA against Denmark. So the USA, which has already won the compound mixed team gold medal, and the women's team compound gold medal is now after its third gold medal of the day. Rio's oh, third. Yes, <laughs> Rio's third of the weekend. Of course, Rio Wild won yesterday, taking the individual gold medal. Already has won the mixed team gold medal today, and now is out for his third gold medal of the weekend. Rio Wild on the left, Dave Cousins in the middle, and Braden Gellin team, a silver medalist yesterday, losing to Rio Wild. And there's Roger Willett Jr., who will be coaching them through this match today. Of course, the USA took Turkey by 11, defeated India by two in the quarterfinals, and Italy by four in the semis. Denmark, led by Martin Danspo, Torben Johansson, and Patrick Larsen, those three defeated the Aussies by four, Great Britain by three, and the Dutch by one in the semifinals. So we shall see what we shall see here today as we get set. The judge gives them the go ahead. And we're all set to start shooting as you take a look at the path to this gold medal match for each of these teams through the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and now down to the gold medal match between Denmark and the USA. And for the USA, quickly, smartly stepping up to the shooting line, Dave Cousins, who makes his home in the great state of Maine. Once yeah. lived in Utah, moved up to Point Maine, 10, and four starts things off with a 10, I believe. It's a pretty formidable lineup for the USA. Mm -hmm. Yes, another 10 for Rio Wild. Nice shot, Rio. The great baseball team in the United States, the New York Yankees, used to have a lineup and they called them Murderer's Row. <laughs> the term might apply to these three. No. Braden Gellantine hits a nine after the two tens by Dave Cousins and out, Rio Wild. So now Denmark with the chance to answer. The Danes with a 10. Again, this is a, this is a, a team that have been shooting well, an experienced team as well, so should be a good match. Dams Bill will be hitting cleanup, so to speak. Lorison with the first shot, Johansson with the second shot, Johansson with a 10. So Denmark's off to a flying start, and here's Martin Damsbo, ranked seventh in the world. Took a men's team silver medal in Torino last summer. 10-10-10. Yeah. Pulled that bow back Ball just as he released shot. it. But it's a 10, and Denmark takes the early lead as Dave Cousins. Look at that look on his face. Nice. Just it's outside just the 10 off at nine. Just barely off. You can hear Roger Willett telling him, you're almost there, just <laughs> barely off. Nine. And so is Rio Wild. At seven. Lots of time, Braden. You got 27. So starting off with a pair of bullseyes, it's been three straight nines now for the Americans. who were trailing by one midway through the first yeah. end and finish off with a 10. So 57 out of 60 for the USA. And if Denmark can continue shooting bullseyes, they'll have themselves a three-point lead. And that would be a big lead against the It US. would be a big lead. Yeah! And of course, if Denmark can get this victory, it would be considered a major upset. Huge. Larson ranked 22nd in the world with a 10 to keep the string going. 
And on the line, it yeah. should be it's a 10 in. for Johansson. I'm it's in. Torben Johansson was on the men's silver medal team in Torino and here in Antalya at stage two last year. Martin Damsbo, who won the individual gold medal in Antalya back in 2010, and <coughs> there's another 10. So depending upon whether they keep that asterisk there or remove it and make it a 10, a nice little lead for Denmark after the first six arrows. I think we're going to have a slight delay as well because Martin's last arrow was close to passing through the target, so they might move the face over. Uh -huh. So the Danish fans cheering on their favorite team here in Antalya. And the two cheering sections going back and forth. <laughs> it comes a bit of a competition. It does. Adds to the atmosphere, and it's been great atmosphere here all week long, and particularly this weekend. Hats off to Juan Carlos Holgado and his crew for creating this amazing venue. Everything you see in this picture, besides the uh, pebbles on the beach, they were not here about three or four days ago. No, it all goes up real quick. I mean, the crew do an amazing job. And tomorrow morning, you wouldn't even know we've been here. That's right. They'll pack everything out of here after we're done tonight. Pack it up and ship it to the United States for stage three coming up in June at Lindquist Field in Ogden, Utah. And we'll have live coverage of that for you as well, courtesy of the World Archery Federation. And that should be a good tune-up as everybody gets set for London in August. Most of the teams will have already been determined. Most of the trials will be over by then. Yeah, I, I, I believe uh, the USA team is being picked before Ogden, so they should be running their Olympic About two team. or three weeks beforehand, yes. But they're, they're still fighting for places on the ladies' side. They've only got one place on the ladies' team at the moment, so they'll be fighting to get the other two spots mm -hmm. in Ogden. USA, of course, had trials last week up until last Saturday, a week ago Saturday. Gone on the uh, jet on Sunday, flew over here, had about a day to recover, and then got into the elimination rounds. And I always tell people that's really where uh, I, I think it's most interesting because you have to fight your way through, what, four or five matches just to get to this point. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you can finish top eight in the ranking round, you're protected until uh, the final 32. Mm -hmm. uh, so so that's always nice if you can, you can sort of have a, a couple of rounds off while everybody else is battling. Although it was interesting this week, several of the top archers who earned a bye in their first match were upset. Yeah, major upset, Brady Ellison. Brady Ellison going out in his first match. But then uh, Vashko's a, a, a great archer himself, uh, and he pushed him all the way in the final yesterday, so he certainly earned his, uh, his place. Ivashko almost taking Im Dong Young to a shoot off. So three point lead for Denmark is Dave Cousins. Starts off the second end with an eight. Could we see the USA defeated for the first time in There's a while? There's a possibility. It certainly exists right now. As Rio Wild. We'll try to start a comeback. It has to start with someone, and it does start right, possibly, with Rio. We'll have to we see. One arrow does not a match make, does it? No, it certainly doesn't. I mean, we saw yesterday uh, how quickly things changed with Christina and Al Albina. It was really yeah. tight, and then one minor slip and one bad match move. Gone. Yeah. So the Americans warming up a little bit. Braden Gellantine with a 10. Nine. Cool gas, a nine for Denmark. Cool 
Torben Johansson. Eight. So each team with an eight here in the first half of the second end. And things are starting to get interesting. See what Martin Damsbo does. Ten. Drills it. So nine, eight, and ten. The Americans picking up a point, now trailing by two, 87-85. Denmark still with a lead, but the deficit now down to a deuce. Nine. And Dave Cousins. Still left, Dave. I think the, uh, the wind may be just picking up a little because uh, everybody's moving slightly left. see our camera move a little bit because of that breeze. So yeah. you can imagine what Rio Wild and Dave Cousins and Braden Gelantine are contending with. Braden's teammates have left him lots of time on the clock. It's always yeah. nice as, a, as the last shooter to, to have the time on the mm -hmm. clock. Not to be in a hurry. You want to be quick, but you don't want to hurry. And Braden with a bullseye. So Team USA with 57 points in that end. Sudden! Cool the Danes are fired up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see the emotion. Torben Johansson. Ten. Yeah! With another 10, pumping his fist. Cool gas, Martin. Needs a seven to tie it. Anything above that? It will determine the advantage, and it remains a three-point advantage as the Danes come back, shoot strong in the second half of that second end, and maintain their three-point advantage. Yeah, I mean, and that's important because you can't give the Americans a sniff at anything, otherwise they'll be, uh, they will take their chance. Team USA with 114 points. And Denmark with 117 points. Denmark, as we mentioned at the start of this match, defeating Australia by four points earlier this week in the elimination rounds, then getting by Great Britain by three in the quarterfinals and knocking off. <laughs> Their opponent in the semifinals by one point. The Danes beating the Dutch by one in the semifinals. And you saw just a moment ago just how well the Netherlands has been shooting this week as they came up with a strong nine point victory over Italy in the men's team competition bronze medal match. That's the Danish team <laughs> to get behind their competitors. Just goes to show if you put a microphone and a camera in front of somebody, <laughs> this is exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> no, nah, it's fun to see. I'm not sure they're going to have any voices left after the match, though. That's all right. They made the trip. They paid their money. They're in the front row. They're having fun. And why not? Denmark with the three-point lead, 117 to 114 is Dave Cousins. Lines up his first shot here in the third end. Great shot by Dave. Good shot, Dave. Made the adjustment. Comes up with the bullseye. Real Wild has certainly had his share of bullseyes here in this match. Yep. Has another. Half a shaft, six o'clock. I believe that was the name of the horse that won the Kentucky Derby yesterday. I'll have another. <laughs> Maybe we should have put some money on it. Yes, we should. Ah, Braden, you could tell. 
Yeah. He, as soon as he let that one release, he knew he wanted that one back. Yeah. And, uh, see if the Danes can just eke out another point. They could build the lead or they could give some points back. Yeah. They seem to be in no mood to give any points back. Yeah, they seem very focused. And mm -hmm. uh, there's not many uh, times you're going to get the USA in this position where, where they're behind you. If you get a team down, you've got to keep them down. And Torben Johansson She's a nine. keeps it in that nine ring. Had that been an eight, it would have made it a little more interesting. So if Martin can shoot a 10, they, uh, they keep their three-point lead. Damsbo peering through that sight. There we go. And gets the 10, so two 10s and a nine for both of these teams to start the third end. The Americans hoping to reel the Danes back in. And it's a nine for Dave Cousins. Dave ranked number one in the world back in 2005. Did win a team gold medal in stage one in Shanghai two weeks ago. Vying for another one here today, but the Americans will have to stage a big, big comeback to get it done. Rio Wild keeping hopes alive with a 10. Braden Gelantine to finish off the third end with yeah. a 10. There we go. Dead Almost center. got that spider. Good guess. Dane's looking to, to keep keep the lead and maybe extend it if they can uh, shoot three tens now. Up nine. Comes on top, full guess. But if they finish off with two tens, they maintain that three point lead. And that's important. Mm -hmm. With only six arrows left after this end is over. Just gives a little breathing space to them. Johansson, big strong shooter. <laughs> On the line, but it's a 10. So will it be a three point lead or less? It's all up to Martin Damsbo. And he decides he prefer a three-point lead. <laughs> so would I. So the Danes just not letting up. <laughs> Neither is their cheerleaders. No. Getting some emotional support. For the fans in the stands. And they know that it's well within their grasp right now. Just six arrows away, six shots away from upsetting Team USA. And this will be a big upset. We've already seen one upset today with Germany. The German women winning the bronze medal, defeating Russia. A bit of a surprise there. This would be even more of a surprise. It would. It would indeed. The last two ends have been all even. It's been that first end in which the Americans fell behind by three points and they just have not been able to make it up. No, I mean, and, and that's that's good that they've been able to maintain it. Going into the last six hours, three point lead, you'd have to say the Danes have got to do something terrible. They'll have to trip <laughs> up, they'll have to stub their toe. Uh, in order. And they've shown no signs of doing that. No, they look pretty cool, so. So here we go. We're all set for the fourth and what could be the final end. Of course, in the first three matches of the day, well, the first two matches went to shootouts, shootoffs, excuse me. The third match was decided by one point. So it is within the realm of possibility. Nine. Dave Cousins will start this end with a nine. You'd have to say that the U.S. needed to shoot a 60 to keep themselves. To have a reasonable chance. Yeah. 
Rio Wild, who wanted to go home with three gold medals, has two already, but is in danger shot, of picking up a silver here, trying to do what he can to help the cause with that 10. And Braden Gillen, team yeah. who won the silver yesterday. Good shot, Braden. Comes up with a 10. Gelantine and Rio Wild, competitors yesterday, teammates today. So 29 out of 30 points with those first three shots for the Americans. Ooh, and an, an eight. eight. Okay. Hmm. A little bit of, a little bit of nerves creeping in maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Johansson shoots a nine, becomes even more interesting. But it's a 10. It is a 10. He's not interested in being interesting. No. No. <laughs> Damsbo, one of the great young archers on the circuit right now, okay. shoots a nine. So one point, one point up with three shots to go. Yeah. yeah. Fletch, yeah. Fletch shot, shot by Dave Good Cousins. Shot. Two more tens, and it will be very interesting. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Got Barely got it in there. They all count. <laughs> There are no ugly tens, are there? No. No. A ten's a ten. Ten's a ten. Bottom line business. Gelantine needs a ten. Braden. Yes. The bullseye. <laughs> Good shot, Braden. The ball is now in Denmark's court. Yep, yeah, perfect score off the last three arrows, and the gold medal's theirs. Ten. There's the first 10. Two more tens and they've got the gold. Anything less. And we could go shoot off. Could go do a shoot off. <laughs> Johansson. Focus. Oh, oh, a nine. So Martin needs a 10 now. Absolutely has to have a 10. Yeah. Otherwise, the USA gets the gold. No pressure. It's a good fight back by the USA. Dam's bow. <laughs> With a 10, and here we go again. For the third time today, we're going to a shoot-off. Uh... Team USA won a shoot-off in the compound mixed team match that started all of this today to defeat Italy. It was uh, Rio Wild and Erica Anschutz defeating Marcella Tonioli and Sergio Pagni in the shoot-off there. And then in the next match, Germany defeated Russia in a shoot-off in the women's compound bronze medal match. We've gone two matches without a shoot-off. It's about time. It is. So each, uh, each archer will now shoot <laughs> an arrow, uh, and if they're tied on score, uh, it will come down to who's, who has the closest arrow to the center. And the judge going over the ground rules with Dave Cousins, who's an experienced hand and has been around this game for a long time. Same with Braden Gelantine and Rio Wild. They're just all trying to make sure everything's clear and everybody understands. 2.31 apiece. The Americans were down by three after the first end, down by three after the second end, still down by three after the third end, <laughs> but started creeping back about midway through that fourth end, and then Damsbo had to have a 10 to get this match to the shootoff, and he did just that. It was that eight that started the fourth end for Denmark that really opened the door for the USA. Yeah, and as I said earlier, you USA can't open the door to the USA, they will take their opportunities. 
Patrick Larson with that eight. And that created just the opening that the United States needed. They could sense it. Now, can they take advantage of the second chance? They've got a new lease on life. <laughs> but Denmark, boy, they have been terrific here in this match today. Be strong, Dave. It's been terrific shooting so far. Everybody seems to pick things up. Could it, could it have something to do with this being in an Olympic year? Could well be, yes. Although compounds are not in the Olympics. No. So. <laughs> yeah. Ten. Ten for Dave Cousins. Good shot, buddy. Good shot. This crowd really getting into it. Down here on the beach. Not a laid back crowd by any means. Ten. Anything you can do, I might be able to do better <laughs> or just as well. So Patrick Larson atoning for that eight by shooting a 10 here in the shoot off. Back to you, Mr. Wild. Yeah. yeah. Braden, we need one on the spider, buddy, for closest to center. Torben Johansson. Ooh, with an eight. And the United States can smell it right now. Yeah, they just need a nine now to secure the match. Lots of time. Just a good, solid shot by Braden Galantine, and that's exactly what they got. They got the nine, and they have got themselves the gold medal. They have. They just wrapped it up right there after that eight by Torben Johansson. Does not matter what Martin Damsbo does here, even with a bullseye. The USA will take the gold medal home, and they pull that one out of the fire. They certainly did, but you know, that's what a great team does. You know, you think you've got them, <laughs> they come right back at you. Yep. Good job, buddy. Good match. And bro. triple gold for, uh, match, for Rio this weekend. That will make him happy. That will make him happy. <laughs> we don't want to make him mad. <laughs> no. no, great guy. Great to see him have that. That's a success. Also happy for Dave Cousins and Braden Gelmanty. They yes. take home gold medals. And hats off to the, uh, the Danes. Terrific performance. And they'll, uh, I'm sure this will be a long night for them. They'll be thinking back on the one that kind of got away. Yeah, they will, but they've performed brilliantly as have all the compound archers today. Uh, it's, been, it's been great to see and all the close matches and shoot offs, it, it's made it good for the crowd. Oh, it really has. And has made it good for our viewers around the world who are watching.